Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I wanted to take a look at automatically updating your location into the APRS system from JS8 Call. So hang with me, and we'll jump right into it. Now, before we get started, if you haven't done so already, you'll need to go back and watch this video. I'll leave a link to this uh, up at the top and a link to it down in the description below. But this will help you get the GPS installed and working on the Raspberry Pi. And one other thing you'll need to do if you haven't done so in the past is get the Ruby script installed that allows you to grab the grid square information from the GPS and post it over to JS8 Call. That's covered in this video. And again, I'll leave a link to that up at the top and down in the description below. Now that you're up to date, Let's jump right in to today's information. In a terminal window, I'm just going to list out my home directory, and you'll see the setgrid2.rb script that was installed in the second video that I referenced just a moment ago. Now we need to grab one more script to make all of this work. So let's head over to the website and grab that link that we need. Okay, so on my GitHub page, and I'll leave a link to this web page down in the description below, we're going to come into the TX Grid script that I've written. And right here on the Raw button, we just want to right click and say copy the link location. Let's head back over to the Pi. We'll use the wget command and paste in that link that we just downloaded and hit the return key. Now that we have it downloaded, we need to make it executable. So we'll run sudo chmod plus x tx grid. Now if we run the list command again, you'll see that tx grid is there and in green indicating that it's executable. Now before we go any further, let's take a quick peek at JS8 call. And just as a reminder, let's go over to the settings and under the reporting tab, make certain that all three of these checkboxes are checked off that will allow other apps and scripts to communicate with JS8. So what we've got going here is the setgrid2 script will grab the grid coordinates from the GPS, convert that to a grid square, and post that information to JS8 call so that it has your latest information. The transmit grid script, or TX grid, will take your grid square and automatically transmit that out to other stations using JS8 Call. Then those stations, when they hear you and have an internet connection, will post that information over to websites like aprs.fi. Okay, so to automate this, we're going to use a cron job. So we'll start by entering cron tab dash e. And this will bring you into a blank file. Now, if you've never used cron before, it may ask you which editor you want to use. I'm using nano. So first, let's make a comment here that we're going to update the grid square from the GPS. All right, and the pound sign right there indicates that that is a comment. On the next line, let's enter asterisk forward slash five, and then we're going to give spaces and four more stars. Now, it's important that you get the space in between the stars but I'll leave this command down in the description below as well. And now we need the path to our file. Now I'm assuming that you have this in your home directory like I do. If you've put it somewhere else, you'll have to modify this path. Okay, now what this does, cron will look and every five minutes, it's going to run this script here. Now we need to tell it to automatically transmit our grid square out in JS8 call. And this time we're going to use every 15 minutes. There's no sense in clogging up the airwaves every five minutes if this is kind of a portable, slow moving station. If it's something faster than that, you probably don't want to use this method at all. Again, we'll give it the four stars and the path to the file. Now, before we exit out of this file, there's one other thing to note. 
You could go ahead and make these entries, but maybe you don't want this running all the time. You could come up to the beginning of each line and put a pound sign, and that would comment these out so that they would not run. Then when you wanted to run them, you could come in here and uncomment that line, save it, and it would be ready to go. All right, to get out of this file, we're gonna press Control X, Y, and Enter. And that's it. Now, every five minutes, we're gonna get the grid square updated in JS8 call right here. And then every 15 minutes, it's going to auto transmit. Now, since it's uh, 14 after the hour right now, we'll just wait about 45 seconds and we should see my grid get transmitted out over the air. And there you can see it start transmitting automatically. Now, it did take it about 10 seconds uh, past the 15 minute mark to actually start transmitting. That's the 10 seconds for the script to run in the background but it will go ahead and get that information sent to the APRS system for you. And taking a look at APRS.fi, you can see that it has updated my station information as of 916 this morning. Okay, guys, I appreciate you watching. As always, thank you for your continued support, and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.